Okay, so here we are, Breathing Color video, discussing the media configuration tool with the new Canon IPF 300 series, which includes the 6300, the 6350, and the 8300. And of course, the latter two include an 80 gigabyte onboard hard drive. So, we're going to perform these following functions every time we load a brand new material into our printer that we've never used before. This is going to tell the printer everything that it needs to know in order to print this accurately. Feeding calibration, ink saturation, ink limit, all that good stuff is going to be bundled all into this media configuration. So we're going to add a custom paper and it's going to bring us to our next window that has our list of medias. Now I've already created most of the breathing color line but we're going to assume that we're creating a brand new product. We're going to go with a live canvas, so I'm going to hit add. We're going to make sure that the printer is connected. This media configuration tool works in direct correlation with the printer, so you want to make sure the printer is on and in ready mode while you run through this. Okay, so we're at our next screen. Here's where we pick the media type we're going to start with. Okay, Live canvas is a 450 gram matte based canvas so we're gonna look right here under photo art proofing paper matte alright it gives us a lot of choices fine art papers uh, quite a few canvases let's say we're not sure we're gonna use the assist button which is very useful okay we simply enter in our gram weight or we can enter our mill thickness and of course we have millimeters and microns in this case we're gonna go with the GSM live is a 450 hit OK and it automatically knows so graphic canvas was selected we're gonna hit OK we're gonna hit next confirm that graphic canvas was selected and then here we get to name what we want this product to appear as in both our printer driver our plugin and as well the control panel on the printer itself So we're gonna type in live canvas and this is automatically sending the information to the printer and at this point when this portion is done it's going to ask us to load live canvas into the printer so we're going to go ahead and load that and we want our paper source to be roll paper All right? and here's our roll media type so we're going to actually hit the up arrow because we're going to cheat and go to the bottom and we want to go to custom right here okay now we just created live canvas you see here's all of my products right here okay but the most recent one that we created live canvas right here so I'm going to hit okay and then it's going to load live canvas okay so after live canvas is now loaded in here uh, we proceed and the very first step says a paper feed adjustment we're going to click on execute it says printing is required. It's going to take three minutes. We're going to hit OK. So now that a paper feed adjustment is complete, we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to hit Next to proceed to the next step. Alrighty, drying time is off. Borderless printing permit. We're going to hit Next here. Alright, maximum ink usage. Okay. We're going to hit Test Print right here. We're going to leave everything at Auto because the printer is going to determine that itself. All right. When we click on test print, we're going to see six different levels of ink that's going to be used. Canon standard paper, which is basically the lowest amount of ink, and then high, which obviously is the highest amount. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just print right here. We're going to hit start print. We're going to just check each one individually. Okay. So there's low, and then we have medium low. Uh, since I've ran this uh, obviously a few times before. I know that for the canvas, it's right about medium high, um, possibly a little bit lower, depending on what you're printing. But medium high generally works re very well with the live canvas, the chromata white canvas. Alrighty, so our test print finished. So now we're gonna uh, select which ink uh, saturation level we want to use. Okay, and as we went over, we're gonna go with medium high. I'm going to hit OK. All right. Notice how through that print, it actually decided, OK, head height. 
and vacuum strength okay so we're ready to go so we're gonna hit next right here we're gonna confirm all of the settings right here name in the printer driver name on the printer control panel that's the actual printer itself okay paper name and then this standard paper right here this is just reminding you in case you forget or need to refer back what the base media was meaning what we started with to create the live canvas okay and then here's all our settings right here okay so we're gonna hit next and then here's the here's the uh, final screen we're gonna execute and this is gonna send all that information and store it both on the printer and then through not only the print driver but also the print plugin